thanks a lot for, for joining me today. We're going to talk about one of those problems that we all face at some point or another, and it's the lack of progress. At some point, we just stop progressing, or we really feel like we stop progressing. We're still progressing a little bit, or we're getting better in, in, if anything, at playing the thing that we've been playing for so long. We're getting a little better, a little more comfortable with it, but really the progress is extremely slow, and it happens in the life of every player, multiple times. I've been playing for 30 plus years, and in those 30 plus years, I've had those times of plateauing. And with that comes oftentimes discouragement and feeling that you're no longer really enjoying playing guitar, or even feeling like giving up because you lost that joy and that excitement that you had when you first started playing. And what do we do about it? And oftentimes, you don't really know. For many years, I didn't really know what to do about it. So I just kept playing, kept at it. And at some point, the progress started again. But we're going to think through that because there are some very practical things you can do to get unstuck and get excited again about playing and feeling like the, progress, the progression is, is happening. And that's always exciting, right? But first of all, we're going to talk about the uniqueness of learning an instrument or learning how to become a better musician. And this, this happens for any instrument, whether it's guitar, piano, trumpet, voice, it doesn't matter. Music is really a unique type of uh, topic, just like arts, anything that has to do with arts. Um, that is not, it's very different from something like mathematics or um, engineering, where you have set rules. And with those set rules, it's very easy to come up with a curriculum of sorts or a path of progress where step one leads to step two to step three and Everyone studying that subject can follow the same exact path and will get to the end result, which is maybe mastering how to code a computer program or mastering how to uh, map out a field or whatever it is. Music is different because there's that element of expression. So anything that has this element of personal expression doesn't work that way. And so when you start feeling that you're plateauing, it's not like you could grab uh, a book telling you, okay, you're in step two, so now you need to go to step three. This is what you need to do. If it was so, then we wouldn't get stuck. We would just grab the manual, I call it the system, and just follow exactly what you're being told to do. Now, when we're taking... Uh, music lessons with a teacher, oftentimes we don't feel that sense of being stuck because the teacher is always going to have, hopefully, something new for you to work on and you're going to feel that you're progressing. But it's not always so because when you stop taking lessons, you might realize that, all right, I know this, this, that, this, that, but I still don't feel like I'm David playing guitar or I don't feel that it's a personal thing. And so that's where you really feel stuck and you don't know what to do. So that's, you got to acknowledge that. That is why. It's because of that element of expression. And there is no one size fits all. And that might explain why, you know, you buy a guitar method hoping to get unstuck. You learn some things, but they don't always work. And they don't always work because those books are, are designed for one size fits all. So what do we do about it? Well, we need to create a system and that system needs to work for you. And the system that you build is going to be really unique to you. It's not going to work for everyone because it was designed with you in mind, with your creativity in mind, your ideas in mind, your story in mind, because music is really a, ways, a way to tell your story musically without words. And that's the realization that I came to. 
there's not one size fits all to learn how to play music. One person might need to understand this one concept to get unstuck and move forward. Another person might need to work a little bit more on unlocking uh, the ability in their fingers to, to play certain things. And typically there's one or two things that is preventing players to progress again. And once players find it, they can work on it, and it doesn't always work. And that's because I'm, uh, this is why this is really important. Whatever you're working on musically cannot be focused on a single aspect of music. If so, you're going to feel that you're progressing a little bit in one area, but you're not really going to grow as a mature musician. Let me explain. If we break down music, so in this case we're talking guitar, but again, it works with anything. If we look at what it means to learn how to become a better player, to grow as a player, there are multiple things involved. There is, of course, the technique, which we're going to classify as anything having to do with the physical aspect of playing the guitar. So that could be exercises or hand synchronization or uh, finger strength. You know, when you're playing, when you're trying to learn bar chords, there's strength involved. All those things, anything that has to do with touching the guitar, the physical aspect of touching the guitar can be placed in the, the technique uh, world. So you need some of that to progress. But you also need some understanding of how the language of music works. You need to understand uh, to some extent what a scale means. You need to understand um, how to build chords. You need to understand all those things that have to do with your mind on the instrument. And we could see the connection, right, between the mind, the understanding, the theory, and the playing. Those two things have to be connected. Without it, you're either going to be a very, very good technician on the instrument. And we see some players like that. They're extremely good at, at playing super fast things. Um, that happened in particular after the, you know, the game Guitar Hero, when that came out. That was in the early 90s, the, the early 2000s or something. Um, there was, I've seen it in my uh, private guitar teaching, a lot of young players coming, they were extremely good technically, but as soon as it was time to improvise over a simple, a simple blues, they couldn't do it because they focused purely on technique. So you need some understanding too of how music works, how phrasing works, how chords work, how to match uh, a scale to a chord. So you need some of that. If you only have the understanding and no technique, you know a lot about music. You're like a musical savant, but you can't play anything. You need both together. And that's just two aspects of playing, the technique and the theory. But you also need this magical thing, we'll call it creativity or personality. You know, uh, That's what makes the difference between uh, two players playing the same exact musical phrase, but sounding very different. You know, if, if I could ask a thousand players to play the same idea, it's still going to sound a little bit different because of their personality, because of their tone and their fingers. This magical thing that happens somewhere between the source of the musical idea and the delivery that makes you, you. We see it, we see it all the time. We don't really think about it, but um, we see it in language, real, real life language. Um, you recognize the voice of your spouse amongst hundreds of thousands of others, of other people, because of the way she or he speaks, the tone of voice and all that. So there's that element too. There's some technique. You need some. There's some theory, the understanding. You need some. There's some feeling. You need some. So those are some of the aspects of uh, things you need to work on to get unstuck. Now, the question is, which one? And that's where a lot of players get stuck, get, get frustrated, because they feel that maybe, okay, I need to work more in math theory. That's, that's really the main thing I need to do. And so they start browsing YouTube for exercises and things like that, and, and they get pretty good at playing, 
But as they're developing that, they forget about theory, they forget about the creativity, and they're stuck again because this is the thing. When you want to grow as a musician, progress, you can't just work on one thing. You've got to work at all of those things at once at the same exact time. That's where so many players get it wrong. Anytime you pick up the instrument, you need to have a little bit of all of that included. You need to have some technique, some understanding of what you're playing, some place for creativity as well. All of those things need to be completely there. Anytime you pick up the guitar, those things are going to be involved. Just so like when I'm talking to you, it's all involved. The technique is involved. I'm physically moving my mouth putting some air through, all of that is, is technical to have the words come out. The theory, so theory is construction of phrases, you know. Um, I need a verb, I need an adjective maybe, or a noun. All those things are things that are stored in the back of my mind, but I'm still using it when I'm talking to you. I'm using proper words most of the time, not always, but you know what I mean? That's involved too. And the creativity, even though I'm not really thinking about it, I'm not trying to be um, creative when I'm talking, but it automatically comes out. If you close your eyes, you recognize that the person speaking is not your brother. <laughs> Unless my brother's watching this video, hello, but I don't think so. But you know what I mean? All those things are involved naturally, and they have to be involved anytime you pick up the guitar. You need to be aware of that. And a lot of times the reason you're stuck is because you don't let yourself be within those different realms of playing, the technique, the theory, or the creativity. You can use different words, but generally speaking, as a reminder, technique is anything to do with the physical aspect of playing. We all do it. Anytime you pick up the guitar, the technique's there. Whether it's good or not, it's there, right? You're always touching the guitar. The theory, that's not always there because theory typically scares people because they think that theory is just this one thing, like studying formulas or analyzing or anything that has to do with like math and studying music. And people are scared that, okay, if I just do the theory thing, I'm not going to be creative anymore, but I want to be creative. But that's not true because you are using what I define theory, every day when you're talking to other people, you are using proper um, rules to construct your phrases, your sentences. Same in music. It is a language. It's not a complete free-form language. There's still some rules to kind of loosely abide to in order for you to play with other people, um, whether you like it or not. I mean, it's okay if you don't follow some of those rules. You can break them all the time, but there's still some guidances, right? Like rhythm, for example. You want to play in rhythm. That's a rule. That's a the We'll call that theory. And then the creativity um, thing needs to be involved too. So I, I just want you to think about those things right now. Um, maybe think about where you're at on the instrument. Maybe think about maybe whether you... Um, have completely let go of one of these elements. It's most likely not technique. Maybe you want to get better at technique, but your technique is still there as long as you're touching the instrument. So I think for a lot of us, it might be theory. You let that go because of preconceived ideas of theory or being scared that you go too far into theory, your creativity is going to suffer. Maybe it's that. Or maybe it's creativity. You completely let go because maybe you don't feel... Um, you don't allow yourself to bring in your personality in your playing because you think that it's not great or maybe um, it's a natural feeling, uh, lack of confidence, but people want to hear the real you when you play. It really does have an impact on the player. So think about that. Where are you lacking um, something? You know, if, if the, maybe it's all three together, but just... Try to think about those things. Try to think about when you're picking up the guitar, how is the technique involved? How is the theory involved? How is the creativity involved? Are you in a space where those three 
elements can be brought out. Maybe your guitar time is always in front of the TV and you're just kind of running up and down the scales or exercises. Or your, your technique is being worked on, but can your theory really be there when you're just playing in front of the TV? Not really, because you're focusing, you're distracted, you're watching TV or something, right? Um, so think about that. That's all I want. I think that's where it starts. And think about all those things as part of a system. It's a system of skill sets that need to be worked on at the same exact time. Anytime you're working on something, even if you're just working on memorizing a scale, those other aspects need to be there. Just think about it overnight. Tomorrow, I'm going to send you another video. I'm going to show you exactly how that works, how you can implement all those things. And um, I think it's really going to help you. Now, I'm going to end really quick by letting you know that uh, March 6th, which is just a few days, I'm starting a program, a 12-week program. It's called Primal Guitar. And this is for players who feel stuck, who feel that they need a system. And that system was built for you in a very different way. It is step-by-step, step, but it is completely built to help you implement all of those things in your playing at the same time, no matter where you're at. You can watch the videos on your own, but the discussions are going to happen throughout the week with me. You can send me videos, get direct feedback, all of that good stuff. I highly encourage you click the button below. If you still see it, it means that I have a few seats left. Check it out. And uh, tomorrow I'll send you that video where I'm going to show you exactly how it works. Practically spe uh, speaking, how do you build that system to have everything together? I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Check out the link below if it's still there. And let me know if you have any questions.